Fans of Bosch have another program to anticipate. Michael Connolly, who penned the books on which Bosch and Bosch Legacy are based, has a new series. Don't you just love it when your favorite producer or author does that? We're too excited to update you on this. Are there any familiar faces we'll be seeing? Let's dig in. First up, who is Michael Connolly? Before we get started, let's learn a little bit about the author. The majority of Michael Connolly's 36 novels, most of which are set in the Harry Bosch universe, are bestsellers. His books have been translated into 45 different languages and have sold more than 80 million copies worldwide. Just by this information, we can tell what the hype is all about. Plus, his works have also been turned into acclaimed motion pictures. Blood Work was made into a film in 2002, and Clint Eastwood both directed and starred in it. The Lincoln Lawyer, starring Matthew McConaughey, debuted in 2011. Also, Harry Bosch has been turned into a TV drama series on Amazon Prime, featuring Titus Welliver as Harry. Connolly was a journalist for newspapers in Florida and and California before he started writing books. During his journalism period, he specialized in the crime beat department. While covering their beats, beat reporters interview everyone they come across for information. To get any fresh information for stories, they frequently contact, go to, and email their sources. He incorporates these experiences into his writing and claims that each of his books contains a kernel of reality. And now, what sort of books does he write? The majority of Connolly's works are self-contained criminal thrillers with a mystery that's resolved by the end, so it'll be more helpful to start at the beginning of a series to experience the character development. His storylines are gripping and exude a sense of dread, even before the protagonist is endangered or attacked. The reader is lured into the plot without becoming puzzled by it because he overcomes the impulse to overcomplicate things. The reader keeps guessing until the very end of most classic whodunits. So if you're unfamiliar with his writings and cautious of any potential spoilers, consider yourself twice warned. It can be challenging to decide where to begin reading Michael Connolly's books because he has several series, not to mention that a lot of his characters cross over and appear in each other's books. But if you're already a die-hard fan, or if your curiosity has peaked, keep watching to learn more about the top Michael Connolly books. We get luckier. We don't just get the books to enjoy, the author also works on making these nail-biting shows. And now, what is Michael Connolly working on? Connolly recently started working on a new show, Avalon. The show was co-created by Connolly and David E. Kelly. Connolly said he couldn't wait to start on the series because the crew has been amazing to work with when asked how he felt about working with Kelly. Avalon publication was done last year as part of When a Stranger Comes to Town, a collection of short stories. The latest information regarding the upcoming Avalon series is provided here. Let's get started. Connolly had his fair share of writing stories related to crime. If you're familiar with his work, you might have heard The Black Echo, The Lincoln Lawyer, and The Poet. We'll give you an idea about those as well. Focusing on his new work, he wrote about the principal city of Avalon on Catalina Island, where L.A. Sheriff Department Detective Nicole Nick Searcy, played by Campbell, heads up a small office. This is the setting for the Connolly short story Avalon. More than one million tourists visit Catalina each year, and every day when the ships come in, hundreds of possible new stories reach the island. Detective Searcy is drawn into a pivotal case that will test her understanding of both the island and herself. The creators of the show and the streaming service have not yet provided a definite release date for the crime series. The tagline line of the ABC announcement, however, indicates that the program will be available by 2022 or 2023, and all we can do is wait while crossing our fingers that it will happen. The number of episodes and their duration will be disclosed by the showrunners. Considering that it just received a purchase order, Avalon trailer has not yet been released. Mark your calendar, we should expect to see the series trailer in 2022 or 2023, just before the premiere. If all goes as planned by the showrunners and the production team, then we should expect the show's second season by 2023. Coming on to the shows he's previously worked on. First up, The Black Echo. The Black Echo, Michael Connolly's debut book, introduces readers to Hieronymus Harry Bosch, his most well-known creation. At Mulholland Dam, a body was discovered in a drain pipe, setting off this mystery. When Detective Harry Bosch arrives on the scene, he is stunned to learn that the victim was a fellow Vietnam War veteran. Bosch must make a difficult decision, solve the crime and bring his brother-in-arms killer to justice, or find the killer and inflict vengeance. Next. The Lincoln Lawyer The Lincoln Lawyer is the ideal blend of mystery, drama, and humor. In the novel The Lincoln Lawyer, Mickey Holler, a criminal defense lawyer who works out of the trunk of his Lincoln town car, is introduced to the reader. He stands up for the criminals who are typically unable to pay large fines and are thus often overlooked by society. Mickey considers it a stroke of luck when a high-paying client with a straightforward case falls into his lap until someone close to him is killed. Mickey is aware that the situation is anything but straightforward or fortunate. 
and that he must use all of his wits to not only see justice done, but also to preserve his own life. And now, the poet. Reporter Jack McAvoy is Denver-based and focuses on death. His most recent task is to investigate a serial killer who appears to be picking on homicide detectives, but only those who have disturbing, unresolved cases. The serial killer leaves a quote from Edgar Allan Poe as evidence of his work, and when Jack's brother, a homicide police officer, is attacked, the hunt for the culprit takes on a personal dimension. In a scramble to find the killer before he can strike too close to home, Jack investigates the case, uncovering crimes committed across the country. Coming back to Avalon, if we talk about the cast, we have Neve Campbell, who will be playing as Detective Nicole Nick Searcy. Then Stephen Pascal, who will take on the opposing party, is another member of the cast. He'll be working as Detective William Claypool. Plus, three actors were chosen to play the key roles opposite Neve Campbell. Rosalyn Ruff as Lena, Demetrius Gross as Senior Deputy Deo Musa, and Alexa Mansour as Deputy Carolyn Chavez. Next, the cast and what are their characters? First up, Neve Campbell. She is a well-known actress who played Maggie McPherson, the main character's ex-wife in The Lincoln Lawyer. The only detective stationed at the Catalina Island substation is Campbell's Nick. Nick may seem mysterious, but she isn't easily frightened and adheres firmly to her morals. Ironically, it was her strong moral compass that led to her exile to Avalon, Catalina's largest city. No career-driven Los Angeles police officer wants the job, but Nick soon learns that her invaluable investigative abilities are more crucial than she could ever have imagined on Avalon. And Stephen Pascal. Pascal is well known for playing the key roles of Detective Mark Furman on American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson for FX, and as firefighter Sean Garrity in Rescue Me for FX. His television credits also include The Comey Rule on Showtime, Divorce on HBO, and Bloodline on Netflix. William Claypool, a deputy sheriff for Los Angeles County, will be played by Pascal. Claypool, an intelligent, capable thinker with a wonderful sense of humor, is sent to Catalina to look into a disturbing find there. That's all we know about his character in the show. And now, Alexa Monsoor. The American actress Alexa Monsoor is most recognized for playing Hope Bennett on AMC's The Walking Dead World Beyond. She's also played roles in How to Get Away with Murder and Unfriended Dark Web. Monsoor will portray Carolyn Chavez, the deputy. She has an unfettered sense of humor and optimism. Carolyn adores her job, her boss, and everything about island life. She developed her own compass after being left to fend for herself as a young child. Mansoor joined Stephen Pascal, Rosalind Ruff, and Campbell as members of the lead cast. Rosalind Ruff, Rachel Getting Married, 2008, Salt, 2010, and Marriage Story are among Rosalind Ruff's best-known works. Ruff will be portrayed as Lena, a police administrative dispatcher who serves as gatekeeper and great guardian of perspective. She never falters and is the voice of reason. Her character is incredibly spiritual, independent, and self-sufficient. Despite not being in a relationship, she provides the best relationship advice. Yeah, she's that friend of the group. Who's your Lena? And Demetrius Gross. Deo Musa, the senior deputy who is posted to Catalina Island and is bitter that he wasn't promoted to detective, will be played by Gross. He seems to value rebellion above all else. He approaches working the island with cynicism, yet despite the harsh comments and stern demeanor, he has a truly wonderful heart. That's a wrap for today's video. Let us know which of Connolly's work is your favorite down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye!